Let's take a quick look at an overview of the Acronis Cyber Disaster Recovery Licensing. This is the one product where it's a little bit more in depth uh, with what needs to be done because there's a couple of different parts to it. First of all, the Acronis Cyber Disaster Recovery is an add-on that's available for any backup or cyber protect customer, whether they're uh, standard or advanced. This does not apply to the new Essentials Edition, just standard and advanced customers. And the disaster recovery storage is designed to be a single billing item so that you don't have to complicate all of your billing for it. And the Acronis hosted cloud storage makes it very easy, but we do have it with service provider cloud storage as an available option as well. The pricing model is per workload, but the cost also has some per gigabyte components in it as well. So let's take a look at that. The costs are the disaster recovery to either our cloud or your own cloud, you pay only after the cloud backup is created. So just by selling the customer disaster recovery doesn't mean that you're being charged at that moment. It's only when they create the backup plans that that's going to be based on that you will be charged for that. Of course, you can charge your customer right away. Then we have the amount of compute resources or what we call compute points. It's a combination of the amount of the size of the virtual CPUs that they're using plus the number of hours that they've been utilizing it. And this you only get charged for after they're actually having their disaster. And then we optionally also have a recovery IP that they can use. It's a public facing IP address in case they need to get to the real world with it. And so that's a nominal fee that they pay every month. I mentioned our compute resources a minute ago. It's a combination of the number of CPUs, the amount of RAM, uh, and then multiplied by the number of hours that they're using it. And as you can see, we have a number of different size systems that are predefined here, F1 through F8. And as you'll see, the amount of points that they use varies greatly depending on the uh, size of the machine that they have. But to give you some idea of what we're talking about here, a couple of examples. So our first example is an Acrona Cyber Backup Cloud example. This person has just one server, has a 250 gigabyte hard drive. There's only one external facing uh, IP address and the server had a failover for 15 hours in the last month. Okay, so this is in the case that they actually had some downtime, right? 15 hours of downtime. They paid $22 for the server to protect the device. They had backup storage that they had that came up to about $10 a month. They had disaster recovery storage that came up to about $15 a month. And then when they used their 15 hours, they had an additional $7.20 for the compute resources and then three bucks for the IP address. Their total monthly fee in a month where they had a 15 hour downtime was only $57. This is a very affordable thing. That included all your backup, all your cyber protect, all of your disaster recovery, everything all for 57 bucks a month to you as our partner. Any of the prices I refer to here are example prices based on basic book pricing in North America. Please refer to your price list for comparative analysis, but you'll find that the model uh, stays the same. In this case, we're going to step up. We got an Acronis Cyber Protect customer here. They're using Acronis Cyber Protect standard and uh, they've had the same situation, exactly the same situation. And you will notice the only thing that has changed is they're paying about two bucks extra. I'm sorry, five bucks extra, five bucks extra a month uh, for the Cyber Protect cloud in this case. So they came to 58 bucks. It's still super affordable. Whichever way you describe it, this is a really affordable model uh, for people to get disaster recovery uh, as part of their overall scheme. So uh, this is something you should be definitely adding on to as many customers as will take you up on it.